Hey guys, we got a new pack to throw at you today. It is called Text Animation Pops. Uh, it is a um, text animation pack for Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects, which will allow editors outside Premiere to export and import into their editing suite of choice, like Final Cut, DaVinci, etc. So let's just jump right in now and show you what's up. So your pack's gonna come with After Effects project files, uh, for those editors outside the outside of Premiere, like I just mentioned, it's also going to come with Mogurts. Mogurt stands for Motion Graphics Template. It's the easiest way to create customizable graphics for those Premiere editors. So you're going to want to have um, your Essential Graphics panel open inside Premiere. If it's not already open, it's you can find it under Window. And in your download folder that you get from the purchase, you want to just drag everything in to that panel. It's gonna load up real fast. You can scroll through or you can just search and you'll have all 20 here. So let's drop the first one here on top of this just piece of footage I got online. I always recommend people to, um, you know, when working with Mogarts to quickly render your into out point or just those two graphics so you can see it work in real time. Um, so uh, yeah, there's there's the uh, first one and let's just show you how each of these is editable It's so simple. You just highlight that clip in your timeline and You're gonna have all these parameters to mess with so edit text instead of Mondays. Let's say Fridays um, We've given you the, the the opportunity to change this to any font that's loaded on your system including all the extra weights um, That's a really nice feature to have I, I do love this font and how how it you know, lends itself to this animation style, but obviously you might be work, working within the constraints of brands or style guides. We have a kerning slider in case you need to tighten or widen that, that baby out. Uh, we've got a, you know, stroke width slider, and obviously you can change the color of both the fill and the stroke. And lastly, on some of these, you're gonna see a note that says stretch layer if you need to delay the animate out. So let's render this again. And what that means is if you watch this, there's an animate in, Fridays, boom, boom. There's an animate out. So we wanted to give you the opportunity to kind of time that animate out. And the easiest way to do that was to use something in After Effects called responsive uh, design time. You don't really know need to know what that means, but all, all, all it really equates to is if you need to lengthen the time between the animate in and animate out. You just stretch that layer. Now let's um, render that baby back. And you'll see that the actual, the actual animate in and animate out moments stay the same, but there's, that, there's a longer pause in between them. So if you stretch it out even more, let's render it out. Now, we probably don't have to render the whole thing out, but there you go. So that's an example of stretching it out so it, it hangs even more on that shot and then animates away. So you're gonna have um, you're gonna have several that say that have this note at the bottom here: stretch layer if you need to delay animate out, and that's exactly what that means. Theoretically, you could also shrink it in, but most of those. Uh, the animate out comes up on you pretty quick. So I hope that made sense. Obviously reach out if you have any questions, but you should get the hang of it pretty quickly. So let's dive into a couple others. You know, it's like you have, um, here's, a, here's a fun one, text pop five, and let's render. So that's a cool one. And it kind of hangs on the letter or excuse me, the, the word, you could just snip that so it, it, it keeps that kind of fast energy cut. That's fun. So again, you just click that layer and you're gonna see all the editable parameters up in your essential graphics panel. So, um, it, and it doesn't have to be all caps. There's only one graphic that requires all caps. It can be, um, it can be lowercase. Um, and this would be an example of a graphic that could be scaled down. 
So you've got these parameters here, X and Y, they're, they're linked. So don't worry about putting in more than one number. You just hit, say 80%, it's gonna scale it down. Um, and let's just render that in the out again. There you go. Pretty sweet. So let's show you a few more and, uh, and then we'll just let you go make some cool stuff on your own. Uh, text pop seven would be a good example of a graphic that is more kind of visual texture. I could just see it in those in between moments, um, in your edits, you know, it's not necessarily something that has to be entirely legible. Um, it just hits real quick and then takes you to the next shot or takes you to the next scene. And like the others, it's, it's set up the same exact way. You just, you know, you just edit the text and that's it. Now, obviously it might not be a three letter word. It could be, uh, a, you know, four letter word, like, or it could just say, let's go with, um, let's go. So you're going to see this happen naturally because it's center justified. Now we put a slider in here. It says column gap slider in anticipation of this animation breaking down because of your text. So you just lengthen that out or excuse me, stretch that out to the right. If it's more, if, if you have more than three letters and you should be fine, you can pick where you want that to stay or where you want that to land. And then let's just render that out. And there you go. It's the same exact animation and you just avoid the issue of the, the words running into each other. So that again, super easy to use. And all these are really, um, yeah. So, you know, here's a, here's a cool one. That's super, it's just so simple, but it's already set up for you. You don't have to go in, you don't have to cut layers. You don't have to keyframe. And this one in particular, I believe we're going to see in a second, but I believe it loops. So let's just see this one. Hopefully I'm right. <laughs> There you go. So it, it does loop. And if you wanted to loop it even more, I would suggest just copying and pasting, or excuse me, uh, holding alt. Yeah. And doubling that up. And let's, let's make our out point here and let's, um, render it into out. Let's see. It should be a seamless loop. Here it comes. Yeah. So if you want to just double up those loops, that's all you gotta do, right? Just duplicate on your timeline and put it back to back. Um, now you will have to, uh, edit them separately. So if you change the text here or any, any of these, um, you know, parameters, you're going to want to also change the text here. Um, so yeah, guys, so that's it on the premiere side of things. Um, you know, let's, let's show you actually, you know what, before we go over to after effects, let's show you one more with the, uh, sort of adjustable timing, just so you see it again with another example. Uh, let's make this color pop a little bit more. There you go. Um, so yeah, this one is cool. Um, the letters kind of dart around. And so if you want to change the text, the font, kerning, yep, color, sure, scale. Here it is again, stretch layer if you need to delay animate out. So, you know, there's a, there's a couple of beats in between that in and out. If you need to accelerate it, uh, I want it to like, it'd be as quick as possible. You, sh you shrink it in, right? And then let's just render it out. So there's barely any time between those two. Now, if you want to put some more time in between that in and out, like I said, stretch that layer a little bit more time, and then we're going to go off. Boom. So you do have to play with it a little bit, but you know, pretty, pretty easy if you ask me. So that's the premiere side of things. Let's head on over to After Effects. Everything is consolidated here in the Essential Graphics panel as well, instead of having you bounce around the uh, timeline in the Effects Control panel, like in previous products. So again, just I'm um, emphasizing, when you do open up one of these uh, comps, you are also going to have to find it in the Essential Graphics panel. So for example, here we have the, the graphic I already showed you. Um, you would change that here and you'd see those changes and all the functionality works exactly the same on this side of things. So uh, I thought that was a good way to sort of marry the two um, different uh, files, uh, file types rather, your Premiere Mogerts and your After Effects project file. 
Um, so let's just show you another one just for the sake of showing you all the, or, or uh, some of these, some of the other ones. So this says together again, I, I have it previewing in my composition window, but I do need to bring up 08 in the essential graphics panel. Uh, this is the one that I mentioned has to be all caps letters. So you're going to want to put something in like, um, you know, this week, all caps, it's going to update. This uh, particular graphic actually has a little bit of customization. When you do scale it up, you lose that mat. But we anticipated that and you just tweak that slider to fix it. So no big deal. It's just there's a note here. When you change the scale, change the mat height. And yeah, there's so there's 20 of these. Here's a here's one that is kind of like that. It would be great for an in-between moment. Double click in it. I'm viewing in the composition window. Again, like a broken record. Don't forget you gotta come up here and hit 14. And now you change to, you know, whatever you want. Again, it doesn't have to be all caps. Boom, flash sale. Again, like that pop one or I showed you earlier that had the rows and columns. This one has columns. So when you have a different word that isn't the same amount of characters as the one that I'm using as the, the template, all you have to do is find that distance you want between the columns with that slider and you are all set. So anyway, guys, yeah, these are these are super simple, but also have some some nuance and some energy that you know takes takes quite a bit of time to set up if you're if you're in there on your own. So, you know, we did it for you. It's going to save you a ton of time. It's gonna it's gonna make your edits you know better and uh, and give it kind of a, a new layer of energy. That's text animation pops available inside Adobe Premiere as motion graphics templates. Also available inside After Effects. Um, so that you can export for any other software if you if you happen to be editing in something other than Premiere. Thanks for your time and please reach out with any questions. We're excited to see um, some of you guys pick this up and start implementing into your projects today. Thanks again. Bye bye.